This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and um, this is a very special unboxing to me because it's a reintroduction into something that I started to do when I was a kid and as a teenager continue to do. Um, and I talked about this with some of you and mentioned it before and I asked a couple of close friends about it and most of them were like, yo, go ahead and do it. It's something that you want to do. It's something that makes you happy. Why the fuck not? <laughs> um, so I went ahead and finally decided to go ahead and indulge in that a little bit more than what I've already done now. Um, like I said, uh, when I was younger, I used to be big into collectibles. Uh, I did it up until my teens. Mostly it was comic book stuff. Like I have, still have some of my collectibles. I used to do the card thing, of course. Um, back in the day, everybody did the trading card thing. Um, I even did the nerdish trade, ca trading card thing, and I still think I have my DC and some of my Marvel trading cards. I need to check and look, um, see what I got. These were, I think, were like the first runs of these when they first started to come out. Like, I was like, it was so geeked. Um, I used to do the baseball, football thing, and then it's like, oh, shit, let me get these. Now, all my baseball stuff and sports stuff, I think, is gone. But I still got those, weirdly enough. Um, I think I sold off my baseball stuff. And I actually sold off my comic books, which I feel bad, but... It was like I couldn't like move them with me and I had to like get rid of them or not be able to store them properly. So that said, all I did find that I still have a roughed up copy of um, Death in the Family, uh, Batman Death in the Family, the death of Jason Todd uh, in my closet. So that's that's cool. Anyway, um, but uh, I kind of wanted to get into doing the collectible uh, stuff, some statues, maybe toys. Um posters pictures maybe um i haven't found a place where i can find that stuff in person um, i'm sure there's a lot of places around the dc area that i don't know about anymore because i've been so far gone out of the culture um but what kind of sparked it to me was i finding that stuff the dc um, marvel stuff the little toys and this little thing here that's really roughed up you can see the box it's all horrible now backstory to this um is this was given to me at work I used to work at uh, this place called the Spy Museum, and we used to sell different things, including toys to kids. Um, and different companies would send us things that they think might be um, related to what we did, and they sent this little bad boy, Nick Fury. Because Nick Fury is a spy. He is an agent. Um, he's a government operative, uh, and they kind of were trying to slide this in at the beginning. Um, this actually was sent to us right before the first um, Avengers movie, by the way. That's why I have this. Uh, and, of course, we rejected it. And this was sitting in the back, getting beat up. Um, not as much as it's been beat up sitting in my closet, but it was beat up before I even had my hands on it um, because they weren't going to use it. And they generally took forever to get rid of stuff that they weren't going to use. So one day they were going through the whole lot of... Um, rejected items and we're throwing stuff away and of course when they do that they generally will ask us they generally would ask us um, I should say I don't work there anymore if we want certain things and I ran across this like wait are you guys gonna sell this and they were like nah we're not in fact thank you for reminding me we're gonna throw this away I was like hell no you're not throwing Nick Fury away I'll take this please they're like you want it and I'm like yeah and so they were like cool so I've had this for a while so this is technically my first Funko Pop, but I kind of don't consider it my first Funko Pop because it wasn't necessarily got out of me wanting to collect these things. But now I kind of want to do so. It's funny too, because before I decided to do it myself, I had got my boy hyped into Funko Pops. He's actually got a few. Um, he's got some that I want. Like I need to get the Randy Watson from Coming to America. That's vital. Um, I probably will get... Um, Prince Hakeem in his McDowell's uniform. Um, and, you know, things like that. Uh, he got a couple of the Cuphead ones, which I wanted to probably get to. Um, I saw some more I wanted to get, but today I decided, you know what? I'm at, I was leaving work, left work, said I had to go to the grocery store, went to the grocery store, got my stuff, and I noticed, like, hey, GameStop's across the street. You know what? I've been 
talking about doing this thing and I've been having a shitty week, shitty month, shitty summer. I need to do something to make myself happy. And you know, I was like, you know what? This should be the day that I start doing things that make me happy and indulging in things despite all my financial, social, personal, however you want to say it, problems that I have, like the myriad of issues that I have going on in my life. Let's do something fun for me and listen to my friends, especially one particular friend who really encouraged me and I thank her dearly for doing this. Um, love you for pushing the juvenile side of me because, you know, me being a big kid makes me happy. And so today I bought a couple of Funko Pops, but I decided to go with um, a theme for my first purchases. And I kind of not done because my theme was video games first. I was going to do video games first because since this channel is a video game oriented channel and because video games is generally my biggest hobby anyway, um, I need to do video games. So thought about a game of characters that I really, really love and Overwatch came to mind. And I was like, wait, I haven't played Overwatch. I was, it's funny too because Overwatch was on my mind as well because I was talking to someone and I even tweeted about it about how I have not played Overwatch in over a year, and I used to love playing it, and we were talking about the characters that we liked, and my favorite characters came up, and I was like, yo, that's the perfect, perfect introduction. So I looked on my phone, saw that the store that I was near had them. Shout out to the um, District Heights, Penn Station, um, GameStop. I know this is me giving GameStop props, but that GameStop um, had... A couple of the ones I wanted. They didn't have the third one, so I'm gonna have to find the third one. They had a couple of the ones I wanted. Now, my three favorite characters. Most people don't know um, who they are when it comes to Overwatch. They're not probably the same as most people are, but I got two of them, um, including my favorite character probably. Now, one of them, of course, is this bad boy here, uh, and the glare is kind of like killing it. But as you can see, it's my man Zenyatta. Um, love Zenyatta. Uh, I've always been um, that type of person who I've never been super aggressive in uh, multiplayer games anyway and when I could find like a support character that I could excel at I tend to like lean on it Zenyatta was that man because Zenyatta um, can do amazing things if you know how to do um, how to utilize Zenyatta and his power like you can help pushes you can like hold lines with Zenyatta if you really play your cards right um been a while since I played, um, you know, Overwatch though, so the meta's probably changed with him as the meta has changed with a lot of them. I haven't even played the new characters, people. I'm sad. I'm sad. But um, Zenyatta was on the list. And then, of course, um, one that I didn't get, I'll mention, um, is Symmetra. Symmetra, again, support, great at what she did, you know, like setting, up, setting up defensive points and things like that. Um, the teleporter to help move along um, people to like if you set it up strategically well you can like hit the line fast after deaths and things like that like again I tend to lean to more support or cerebral type characters because I'm not a really good running gunner I'm not quick on the trigger not the greatest of aim you know not the most aggressive person um, so those two characters fit me, but they didn't have Symmetra, and I want to get Symmetra, so I'm going to have to look and see if I can find Symmetra somewhere. Please, somebody, give me Symmetra. Um, but my favorite character, for some reason, has always been this lovely lady right here, Zarya. I love me some Zarya. Um, it's probably not the tank that most people would have picked in um, Overwatch when Overwatch first came out, but it was the tank that I loved. I love the fact that she has some support capabilities, like with the shields and things like that. And, you know, her gun is able to, like, do some, like, good damage um, and to kind of shy people away. And I used to love it when we had to make final pushes. If I had her, like, um, Graviton Pulse, I would, I would love to, like, leech. This is when I would get... She's probably the one character that I was... Definitely aggressive. I mean, I played with other characters. Like, I could be a hugely aggressive diva when I played. Everybody can be a hugely aggressive diva. Because um, diva is just the tank that just was annoying as fuck. Because she would fuck your shit up. Um, but, um, and again, I need to know how to meta it. Somebody let me know 
in the comment section. How is the meta of Overwatch? Is it something I could jump back in and like get back into the groove of things? Because I'm way behind the curve. Literally way behind the curve. Um, but, you know, I just used to love that when like I could find a point where if we're pushing and I could catch three or four or more of them in one spot and I had that gravitation pulse, I hit that shit. She says that Russian that was so damn good. And, like, draw them all in. It's like, yo, if there's a diva or a, especially if there's a Pharah, you better have your ults. Because if I hit that Graviton Pulse, hit them with everything you got and wipe them off the map. It used to be beautiful to see that sight to me. That's why I used to love having her. Because if I could, like, figure out a way to get the team to get on board with that push and do that, it was sweet. It was so sweet to me. Um, that's how I used to play Zarya. Um, I was very aggressive with her. And I tried to, like, make sure I could catch bunches of people with the Graviton thing and hopefully have, like, sidekicks along to come clean up the mess because that shit used to work. I remember one time I pulled that shit off. Um, and I'm sorry, it's been a while since I played, so I forget the names of the maps. There's the map that had that big well in the middle. And I remember I threw it over the well, and there was a bunch of people on the outside of the well, and they drew them all over the top of the well. And they were done. Like, ploop. I think it was got like a four kill that way once the Graviton released them. They had no chance at all. It was it was pretty damn dope. I wish I had that on video because that, that was a highlight right there. But, um, yeah, so, like I said, I've always wanted to get back to collecting. And this is going to help um, with me move towards that. It's funny because as I was looking at these, I noticed, like, there's a couple of more Funkos. Um that oh, um, Overwatch Funkos that I might want to get, like Sombra. I've never played with Sombra, but Sombra's design is pretty damn cool. And Mercy's design is really, really nice as well. I'm not feeling funny because they have um, on the back of the box, they have Zenyatta, uh, Mercy, Zarya, Sombra, Junkrat, Roadhog. Not really feeling the Roadhog or the uh, Junkrat. Um, Junkrat looks too much like that character from the. Um, Santa Claus is going to town. Uh, Mr. Uh, Winner to me. But eh, it is what it is. But I'm glad I got these two. Um, and I'm going to take them out probably. I don't know. If, I need to take better care of the boxes. So they won't end up looking like this. But I'll probably take them all out. Put them on my shelf. And they'll just be chilling um, on my shelf. Um, somewhere back there. But yep. Yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Um. If you like seeing these, don't worry. I'll be getting more Funko Pops and talking to you guys about them because I think they're cool. I wish I could win some. Funko, at me. Let me win a couple of those Pops and I will promote the hell out of them. I appreciate it. Anyway, as always, you guys, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think and I'll hold you later. This is your boy Black Megs in the Mop. Deuces. <laughs>